Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, Victrix, Half-Life, Street Fighter, Nvidia, and more. Let's get started. Alright, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. And this is some extremely good news if you've got a Mali GPU. So Bylaws, one of the Skyline developers, posted this image of Super Mario Odyssey up and running looking good at 26 frames per second. And this is on an Exynos 2100. And this video is also from Bylaws showing Super Mario Odyssey up and running at 20 frames per second here, give or take on a Google Pixel 6, also using a Mali GPU. This is gonna be an absolutely huge update to Skyline and even more so if you don't have a Snapdragon CPU. Now this version of Skyline isn't out just yet, it's still under development. The developers are working hard, but it's gonna take just a little bit, probably in a day or two or maybe even a week possibly even longer, who knows? But as soon as I know, you'll know. Next up, and we're still talking about Switch emulation, but shifting from Android to PC with Ryujinx, and Ryujinx just got a brand new update. Version 1.1.295 of Ryujinx just dropped, and there are some fixes in here that may improve some games you like to play. For example, Animal Crossing New Horizons no longer crashes on startup without a save file. And this version also fixes other miscellaneous crashes and texture corruptions in that game. On top of that, it fixes random crashing in Breath of the Wild, and fixes random crashing when entering or exiting Pokemon centers in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So if you are using Ryujinx, I highly recommend updating to the latest version, which is really simple and straightforward. Open up Ryujinx and you should be prompted to update it. Next up, we're still talking about Switch emulation on PC, but we're switching from Ryujinx over to Yuzu, another Switch emulator I recommend. Yuzu also got another update, and it's a little bit different than Ryu Jinx, but it's also great. So mainline version 1189 of Yuzu just dropped, and we've got some fixes and also some potential performance improvements. They state automatically use larger staging buffer sizes when possible for Vulcan, which might directly translate into better running games. In addition to that for the fixes, we've got some fixes for rendering in Super Mario Galaxy, fixes for some homebrew rendering stuff, and also fixes for Monster Hunter Rise Sea of Solitude rendering. Like both Skyline and Ryujinx, Yuzu is free and open source and I highly recommend checking it out. And if you're debating on which Switch emulator to use on PC, whether it's Ryujinx or Yuzu, my answer is simple. Simple. Use both. Next up here, we're talking about PlayStation Stars and just a couple of things I think are worth mentioning. So PlayStation Stars just rolled out in North and South America and it's basically a reward program for PlayStation Plus members. It consists of a bunch of digital collectibles and that's really about it. You can display these collectibles in your PlayStation app and you can also redeem some of these points for games. There's currently four different PlayStation Star status levels with a rumored fifth one possibly in the works, basically unconfirmed at this point. Reward level 4, which is pretty lofty to get to, gets you one very interesting perk. I am not joking here, I'm not making this up, this is directly from PlayStation's website, but if you are a level 4 member in a select country, you will have the added benefit of priority routing to their chat support team, so if you've got an issue, you'll probably get spoken to first. And on top of all of that, this part isn't good, and it's something I noticed when reading through it and I think is definitely worth highlighting. Now to be honest with you, the way this is worded, I'm not entirely sure if this is just for rewards or also for games that contain rewards or specific rewards. Once you redeem a reward with points in some countries or regions, you have time to change your mind, cancel your purchase, and get a refund. However, if you consent to immediate delivery of the digital content or immediate supply of the service, we can provide them immediately to you and limit your right to cancel those orders. So unless your purchase is faulty or you have other rights to cancel your order under applicable local laws, when you redeem your points with us, you will not be able to change your mind and cancel your purchase once you begin to download the content or add credit to the PSN wallet. Overall, I think PlayStation Stars is an okay program. I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world, and I wouldn't say it's the worst. Let me know your thoughts about PlayStation Stars in the comments below. Next up, we're talking about a brand new controller from Victrix, and this one's very interesting. It's compatible with PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PC and you can swap basically everything on here except the triggers. This controller is called the Pro BFG and I find it fascinating. 
One of the things I noticed right away was this awful looking D-pad. But if I scroll ahead just a little bit, it looks like you can change that out. You can change out the joysticks as well pretty easily. There's the normal D-pad. And you can also change the orientation of the D-pad and joystick very easily. It looks like it just swaps around and is probably held in there by magnets. And even the right-hand side of this one, you can swap around and you can take out that second joystick altogether and put in a fight pad. In addition to that, it looks like we've got a custom profile button, wired and wireless modes, it's got USB-C, a toggle switch to switch it between PS5, PS4, and PC, and it also has a headphone jack on the bottom. And on the back grips here, we've got four extra buttons and also some trigger sensitivity switches. And the last part about this video is it looks like the whole thing will be fueled by custom software where you can map the buttons to your liking. I would argue that Victrix is PDP's higher quality brand and the price of this controller definitely reflects that. It's priced at 180 bucks. It's not gonna be cheap, but it does have a ton of features and it's currently sold out. This looks to be everything the controller comes with. And as I said before, I find the Pro BFG fascinating. But yeah, let me know your thoughts about the Pro BFG in the comments below. Does this price seem reasonable? Do you like the features here? And what are your thoughts overall about this controller? Next up, we're quickly talking about Street Fighter VI and something I find absolutely crazy. So Street Fighter VI is having a closed beta test. It's fairly exclusive too. You had to sign up with your email and you may or may not have received a beta test key. I signed up and I was unlucky I didn't receive one. Anyways, the beta test is up for a very short time. It's between October 7th and October 10th. So just around the corner. And the crazy part here, if you haven't already read the tweet or taken a look at the eBay page, people are selling these beta keys and it's not cheap. $300 US. And if you thought that was crazy, there's also listings up there over $400, almost $500 for this very short beta test. But wait, there's more because why wouldn't there be? People are absolutely crazy. Listing it for a ridiculous price is one thing, but being willing to pay that ridiculous price is something else. Someone is willing to pay 760 bucks for the closed beta test. This is a live auction and there are 41 bids. At this point in time, I don't have words for whatever is going through these people's heads to bid on this, or I guess what's not going through their heads. To me, this is not worth it at all. I would completely avoid this and I just, I don't understand people and I don't think I ever will. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Moving on from all of that nonsense, next up here we're talking about Half-Life Alex, and it appears that there's a massive rumor out there that Half-Life Alex is making its way over to PSVR 2. It appears that Sony may or may not have bought the rights to publish this on PSVR 2, and apparently it's coming in 2023 at some point. I'm not entirely sure on this one. I, I, I don't want to say no. I would like to say yes, but at the same time here, we don't have sources, just a whole lot of speculation, a whole lot of rumor. So we'll see where this one goes. Next up, just a fun fact for you. The new NVIDIA 4090 GPU is bigger than an Xbox Series X. Here are the two side by side, and well, you can see one is definitely bigger than the other. Kind of crazy that this is an entire console and that is just a GPU. Last up and definitely not least, we're talking about LaunchBox and well, the giveaway I'm running right now. So I had 20 lifetime licenses for LaunchBox, 10 for Android and 10 for Windows. And I'm giving one away every few videos here and there and kind of not really doing it with any sort of consistency. It's just at random. Well, I'm gonna be giving away the fourth of 20 today. So all you have to do is email launchboxgiveaway at mrsujano.com and answer this question. Who was the Skyline developer that I mentioned in this video? Send the answer to launchboxgiveaway at mrsujano.com. Provide your name and also provide what system you want the lifetime license for, whether it's Windows or Android. I will be choosing a winner at random in the next 24 hours. If you receive a reply from that email, congratulations, you probably won. Anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. We talked about a ton today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.